Hi, I'm Mark. This is Mark Tech Vlogs on YouTube, and today I'm going to bring you guys a review of the fourth generation Nuki Smart Lock. Now this is gonna be a review of the base model for and not the pro model. I've previously done a review of the pro model and I've linked that below. Now the Nuki 4 is a retrofit smart lock designed to work with a whole variety of doors, including UK lift to lock multi-point doors. And that includes those that need an extra key turn to open them from the outside, even if the door is unlocked already. It works with a massive variety of existing doors and locks, including those with thumb turns. Depending on your existing cylinder, you may need to upgrade it at the same time. That's because, as per all Nuki smart locks, you must be able to open your door from the outside with a key when a key is on the inside. Nuki do sell these for around £70, but the most affordable way of getting this is to get something like a Yale thumb turn lock. These retail about £15, and I put one that I've used below. You will need a Nuki adapter to go with that, but they are free, and I'll put a link to that Nuki page below for you as well. If you need one quicker, you can get them for literally like £2.50 on Amazon, which is what I did because I wanted one straight away. The Nuki 4 retails at £150. If, however, you're going to want to take advantage of the remote access using Matter over Thread, then you're going to need to make an additional in-app purchase of £45. This will give you remote access wherever you are in the Nuki app. If you want remote access wherever you are using something like the Apple Home app, you don't actually need this upgrade. And the weird thing is that this £45 in-app purchase actually brings it to about £50 cheaper than Nuki 4 Pro. And the Nuki 4 Pro comes with a rechargeable battery pack and Wi-Fi built in. And so if you are looking at the Nuki 4 and you think you're going to need that £45 in-app purchase, you're probably better off looking at the 4 Pro. But let's continue on the review anyway for those people who are looking at the Nuki 4. And in the box you get the device itself, you get some batteries to get you started, you get an Allen key and you get two different adapters for fixing it to your door. Of course, you also get some instructions and the essential matter QR code. So let's move on to design. So the design of the fourth generation is unchanged from the Nuki 3. It has nice rounded edges and does protrude a little bit, but those rounded edges make it fit quite nicely on your door, especially if you have a white front door because it just kind of blends in. The front of it has a twist knob which you can use to open and close and it's also got a button which has some multi features and we'll talk more about them later on. All in all, I like the design and I don't think Nuki really needed to change it anyway so it doesn't matter that they didn't. The device itself takes four AA batteries and Nuki say these will last for around six months. And generally having used this for a while, I think they're going to be about right. And I have been using this lock for quite a while because I've been holding off making this review until the Matter Over Thread update came. So Nuki originally released this lock without that update back in 23 and said it would come early 24 and it arrived about two weeks ago. So at the time of recording, that was kind of like mid-February. And of course, if you want that, that is an in-app purchase of £45. So let's talk about installation. An installation of the Nuki smart lock does vary depending on your front door, but it is a pretty simple process and Nuki have some really good instructions. As I said, depending on your front door, you may or may not need to change your cylinder as well, but changing the cylinder is a really easy job anyway. Once you've got your Nuki mounted, you then use the Nuki app to pair it and calibrate it. And for most people, I think you can install one of these in less than 15 minutes. So before I dive a bit more into talking about using this lock, let's talk a bit more about specification. So this smart lock has all of the features found in the previous generation, but with the addition of Matter. And this is Matter Over Thread. And basically Matter Over Thread enables you to use things you've already got in your home to act as a hub. So for me, I'm an Apple user, and so my Apple TV or my HomePod minis can act as my home hub, eliminating the need to have a Nuki bridge. It is also compatible with Samsung SmartThings, Google Assistant, and coming soon, Amazon Alexa. That means for anyone using those systems, you'll have a different kind of hub already that you can use. The smart lock connects to your phone via Bluetooth. And then all of the communication uses the same encryption as your online banking, which means it's super secure. This smart lock has also been certified by AV Test as a secure smart home product. And this is really important when it comes to things like smart locks. It is worth noting for Apple users that it is not home key compatible. So let's talk about using this smart lock and the ways you can use it and the features it has. And there are a whole variety of ways you can use this to lock and unlock your front door. And this is gonna come from perspective of an Apple user because that's what I am. 
And so I want to start off by talking about how I use it with Apple's kind of ecosystem. And thanks to that massive compatibility, it is present in your Apple Home app when you add it. That means you can control it from your watch or your phone or your Mac or whatever Apple product you've got. Likewise, you can integrate it into the automations and routines and scenes in your Apple Home app. You can also just open your Apple Home app, unlock and unlock it. It is worth saying that if you do need that kind of open feature, whereby you need to turn the key a tiny bit from the outside, even if it is unlocked in order to get in, you can't do this with HomeKit at the moment. This is something that is coming with Matter 1.2, and so eventually I think that is going to come into Apple HomeKit. And that's because Apple have signed up to kind of work with the Matter protocol. When that does come to Apple, I'll make a short on this channel showing you how to use it. It's also worth saying that Apple's voice assistant, especially on something like a HomePod mini, cannot lock or unlock the door. You have to continue this action on your phone or Apple device. That's a security thing because it stops someone being able to yell through your letterbox to open your door. So then secondly, you can use it with the Nuki app, and this is where you set up a whole ton of stuff as well. So the Nuki app for Apple users also has some home screen shortcuts and widgets, which are great as well. But when you first load the app, you can easily lock, unlock, or open your door. This is a pretty clean interface and the lock responds pretty quickly. If you have the matter over thread purchased and have enabled remote access, you can see the status of your lock wherever you are in the Nuki app. This means you can also lock it if you get a mile from home and realize you've forgotten to lock your door. In the app, you can also configure how that button works. So you can choose what happens on one press or two press. Those options include lock, unlock, intelligent mode, and lock and go. Lock and go is a really useful feature that allows you to double press, get out your house, lift the handle, and then it will lock the door. By default, it gives you 20 seconds to get out, but you can adjust this. If you've got a lift to lock front door, you do still need to lift the handle or it cannot lock. There's also modes for auto locking. So it will auto lock after a certain amount of time when your door is unlocked. There's also a night mode that will auto lock your door at a certain time every day. This mode can also then trigger auto lock, so that if you get home late at night and lift up a handle, it will then just lock the door for you after a certain amount of time if you've been home. Useful if maybe you've been to the pub and you get home and you lift the handle but you forget to lock it. There's also the option to auto unlock based on your geolocation. That means when you get home and your phone connects to the lock via Bluetooth, it will automatically unlock for you. This is a way I've used the Nuki locks in the past and this works really well and is still my main way of opening it when I get home. And as I've said before with Nuki Locks, there is no way of achieving this for when you leave. So it can't detect when you've left an auto lock. Now I have found a way to achieve this in the Apple Home app using the when the last person leaves. But if you add the lock to the when the last person leaves automation, you'll get a notification to manually run it. My way around it is to have a smart switch that turns off when the last person leaves and turns on when someone gets home. I've then got a separate automation in the Apple Home app that says when that switch is turned off, lock the door. That doesn't require a manual action. So that's how you can achieve geolocation in a bit of a funny workaround way. And then of course, you've also got guest access. This is done by adding a new guest onto your Nuki smart lock and then sending them an invitation. From there, they need to download the Nuki app and set up an account, and they've then got access to your front door lock. One of the nice things about this is you can manage your guest access remotely. That means you can even remove a guest if they no longer need access. You can also set access by time and day. This means if you've got like a cat sitter or a cleaner who only needs access once a week between particular times, you can manage that easily. And of course, you can then also monitor usage as well. And then it's also worth saying you can monitor the battery life via the app, and you'll get a notification when battery life is getting low. Now, because the Nuki Smart Lock only goes on the inside of your door, if the battery was to run out and you'd miss those notifications, you can still get in via a key. And also that means if you've got less tech savvy family members, they can still just have a key to use your front door. And in addition to that, this is one of the things I really like about the Nuki Smart Locks, that from the outside, it doesn't look like you've got a Smart Lock. So finally, let's talk about how I use this lock, and then I'll share my overall thoughts of the Nuki 4. So for me, when I get home, I use the Auto Unlock feature. So the feature in the Nuki app based on my geolocation. It means I don't have to take a phone or anything out of my pocket, it'll just kick in and unlock the door for me. From the inside, I tend to press the button to unlock it or use that twist knob because it's nice and easy. I've actually got the second press set to lock the door. So sometimes I use that for locking from the inside as well, especially when I first get home at night and I just want to lock it. I do also have the night auto lock set up as well. And then, as I said, I have found a little bit of a hacky way around achieving a lock the door when the last person leaves thing via HomeKit. 
This basically gives me a way of making sure the door locks when I go. But if I'm going on a holiday and I want to make sure it's definitely locked, I do tend to just reach for the Apple Home app and lock it in there because I find that easier than trying to grab the Nuki app because I always keep the Home app on my home screen as like one of the first apps I get to. That's because all of my smart home things are in one place. So all in all, what's the verdict? I've actually been using Nuki Smart Locks now for over a year and they are very difficult to fault. I found them to be really reliable and the same is true for the Nuki 4 and 4 Pro. Nuki is probably the smart lock I would recommend to most people because it's easy to fit and it just works well. It's also compatible with a big range of doors, especially UK multi-point doors. And the 4 is a great smart lock, but there are a couple of caveats. Firstly, I don't think Nuki should be charging for that remote access with Matter Overthread. And especially when you take into account the fact that that in-app purchase is £45 on top of the £150 you spent on this lock, you might as well get the 4 Pro. And of course you can use this lock without that £45 purchase, but you'd need to use something like Apple all the time to get your out of home access. It just feels weird that Nuki are charging for this. And if you spend the £50 more for the £250 Pro, you get a battery pack and Wi-Fi as well. And then secondly, in the caveats, this isn't a product you're going to upgrade to from your three, especially if you're an Apple user. Because if you're an Apple user, other than having access in the Nuki app outside of home, there is basically no difference. The HomeKit behavior is exactly the same. The only thing that's going to change with that is the Matter 1.2 update, which is going to see HomeKit get that open feature as well as lock and unlock. However, that's not around yet and Apple haven't confirmed 100% that's going to happen. It's just very likely because Apple are signed up to that Matter protocol. All of that being said, the Nuki 4 is a great smart lock. And it might be that you've kind of listened to my caveats and the extra expenses and gone, actually, it is still the right one for me. And if so, I've put a link below to it. I have also put a link below to the Nuki 4 Pro. Now, those links are affiliate links and it will take you through to Amazon in whatever country you're in. Now, I don't get paid to do this. This is just something I do for fun. And so if you use those links to make a purchase, whether that's for the Nuki Smart Lock or you just go off and buy some toilet paper, um, that helps this channel out. So thank you very much. If you've got any questions, do stick them below and I'll answer those for you. These are products I've purchased myself and I will keep using. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys again soon.